All right, uh, this is week number two of intermediate level waltz. So we went off of what we did last week. So last week we did this sort of a zigzag pattern, which we could either do in closed or outside partnership position. Three, one, two. Three, one, two. So it started exactly the same way for the one, two, but instead of us both rotating, we went one, two. Then we're going to go to a promenade position. Three, one, close. Three, one, two, promenade. Three, one, closed. Three, one, two, promenade. Three, one. We also talked about what is a promenade dance position and what is a twinkle. So basically a promenade position, if I was standing here, we're both looked that way, keeping our bodies where they are. Let your lower part of your body rotate around so you can step through the middle, making sure this shoulder doesn't pop forward. So a basic twinkle is one, two, three, one, two. So that's what we're doing inside of this step. So if I go one, two to promenade, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And then to make it look and feel a little bit better, as I was doing count one, so we'll start from a hovered position on where we were on two. So I went forward for three onto my right foot. On count one, I'm going to bring her very, very slightly. I'm twisting a little bit counterclockwise. So that way as I go sideways on the two, I can bring her up into a promenade position. So for the guys, my footwork on that one becomes three, one, sideways two, bring her up to promenade position as I get my body into my new line of dance. So I'm kind of winding up a little bit this way, so when I do the sideways step, I can bring her the other way. Okay, so we'll do it kind of towards you so you can see what's happening. So I'm up on two, step three, moved her out of the way on one, went sideways on two, bringing her up and rotating her into a promenade position, so we can go now into our new direction for three. So there's a bunch of little stuff happening to help her get into the proper position. So I'm facing diagonally towards the outside of the room. I'm hovering up on my two. I have my right foot available. She has her left foot available. We step three, lowering down, twisting for one, going sideways on two, rising up, bringing her onto my shoulder, winding up in a promenade dance position, facing diagonally towards the inside of the room. At that point, I can step forward for three, walk through one, sideways for two, facing her, put just back into that starting position again. Three, one, two, three, one, two, Three, one, two, three. So hopefully in the video you can kind of see where our bodies are manipulating each other to find our proper positions. From that, we got into the promenade position, so now we could do the next move. So I got one, two, to promenade position. We step forward for three. We step forward for one, which is a heel. I'm going to do a chasse step as I give her an inside turn. So she's going to go turn and turn turn step, I'm going to go side together side step. Two and three, so I can get both hands, I can step towards her onto my foot as she goes backwards, going backwards from her tailbone, letting her leg come across into a figure four position, letting her uh, pelvis and her leg come forward as she stretches out for three. Then I can go backwards one, bring her into a promenade position for two, and continue back with what we were doing before. So on the développé, we're up on two, three, one, two, three, one, two, stretch three, one, two, three, one, two. Show it from the other direction. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That was week number two of Waltz.